Welcome back to the Pebbles. In this video we will be discussing about a mysterious creature. The submarine that went to the Titanic exploded at a depth of 4,000 meters in the ocean. But this snailfish is a marine creature that can survive even at a depth of 8,300 meters. It is naturally considered to be the strongest creature in the world. Even if a herd of elephants is placed on top of it, even if heavy trucks are passed over it, or even if a locomotive is put on top of it, its body will not be affected at all. But the question is, after all, what is inside its body? If we travel 350 kilometers southwest of Guam Island in the Pacific Ocean, then the part of the sea comes under which the deepest point of the ocean is located. This point is also referred to as the Mariana Trench. Its length is 2550 kilometers and its width is 69 kilometers. In this trench, the deepest point of our world, the Challenger Deep, is located, which is approximately 11,033 meters or 36,200 feet below sea level. This depth is the least explored depth of the ocean. It is also called the Hadal Zone. It is almost impossible for creatures to survive here. At first, it was also believed that humans would never be able to reach the Hadal Zone. Knowing that the Mariana Trench was the deepest point in the ocean was not enough. Several attempts were made to reach this point. Jacques Picard and Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh. Their five-hour journey was filled with numerous challenges. The water pressure at this depth is nearly 1,000 times higher than sea level. During their journey, the submarine's window had cracked, due to which they could only spend 20 minutes at the Challenger Deep. They spent only a short amount of time at that point. But what they witnessed there shook the scientific community to its core. They saw a fish, and they were astonished to see a living fish species at a depth of 1,100 meters below the sea level. Challenger Deep is so deep that, even if Mount Everest were to be placed there still, its peak would be about 2 kilometers below the ocean's surface. The water pressure here is around 16,000 psi. That means the weight exerted on an area of just one square inch is 7,250 kilograms. Well, due to lack of time, they had to leave Challenger Deep immediately. But the trip posed a huge mystery to ocean explorers and biologists. After all, how is life possible in the Hadal Zone, where there is no oxygen nor sunlight? Going to such depths in the ocean for research is an impossible task. In 1996, Japan developed a robotic submersible called Kaiko. This mission was named the Kaiko Mission, in which this submersible had to be sent to the Challenger Deep and collect samples and return back. Kaiko collected some samples of the ocean floor. When they were tested, they found that the bottom of the ocean was full of strange bacteria, those bacteria that had never been seen before. They had the ability to survive in such high pressure. These bacteria produce energy and oxygen through the chemical process by absorbing carbon dioxide and minerals from rocks. It was noticed that the energy produced by these bacteria leads to the main energy source for other creatures in this deep sea. This evidence was enough to prove that life in the Hadal Zone is indeed possible. The Mariana Trench has surprisingly also been home to the deepest dwelling fish, which is a snailfish. It is also known as Hadal snailfish. Up to 12 inches long and 3 inches thick, it's hard to believe the amount of stress this fish has to endure on its body. The body of this fish has an area of approximately 25 square inches, and the pressure at that depth is 16,000 psi. Based on calculations, the Hadal snailfish would be constantly enduring a weight of approximately 170,000 kilograms on its entire body. It is no less than a wonder that such a small fish can bear so much weight. But what is the reason for this? Unfortunately, the scientific community has not been able to know exactly till now. If this snailfish or other deep sea creatures are brought out of the sea, they will burst due to lack of pressure. Some scientific research has revealed that the fish living near the surface have a swim bladder inside them. This swim bladder is filled with air, which prevents them from going too deep. But deep sea creatures do not have the swim bladder, and that's the reason they can go in the depth easily. Scientists have found a significant amount of piezolites inside the snailfish, but it is not yet known how these piezolites ultimately protect proteins and membranes from being crushed. It will be known only then when a technology is invented that can go to the Challenger Deep and do research on live fish. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more engaging content. Until next time, stay curious and keep reaching for your dreams.